In 1961, the petrified human remains were discovered on the soil of the ancient city of Pompeii. Thousands of people suffered horrific deaths when Mount Vesuvius erupted about 2000 years ago. On August 24th, Vesuvius started to erupt and it lasted throughout the following day. Inhabitants of Pompeii and nearby Herculaneum, who chose to remain rather than escape, met their demise as a blast of ash and toxic fumes slammed over the city walls at over 100 miles per hour, annihilating everything in its path. In a process they are calling sudden body fluid vaporization, researchers discovered that the eruption's extreme heat actually cooked the blood of victims until their brains exploded. Yet, their remains were buried behind a thick layer of volcanic ash and remained hauntingly preserved exactly as they had been when they had died. Ash from the victims' bodies formed a protective shell over the years by calcifying. All that remained of the Pompeii bodies after the skin and tissue gradually decomposed were voids in the layer of ash surrounding them, each precisely resembling the victims in their last moments. One woman was discovered anxiously trying to conceal her infant, while others had been trying to cover their faces with their hands. The bodies that were once known as the two maidens appear to be the skeletal remains of an embracing couple that were initially thought to be women. However, archaeologists later discovered that they were actually two unrelated males, one of them was 18 years old and the other one was around 40. One of the casualties is the shackled slave. When Vesuvius erupted, his captors abandoned him bound to a wall with no chance of escaping, and his terrible demise reveals a far darker side of Roman life.